Okay, let's um, head off to the next portion of the exercise, which is 8.3, which is creating drop down list boxes. So remember from our Excel exercises, drop down list boxes were there for data validation. Right? And to, to make things a bit more um, uh, accurate for data entry, where people pick from a list rather than having to type things and then make mistakes if they're doing you know, if they're actually entering thousands of records. So drop down list boxes. Let's have a look. See how we actually do that. And so what I'm going to do is I'll switch over to uh, my data. So we're on we're on eight eight dash three, which means we have to open the training file um, one dot three. So I'm opening my file. And I'll switch over to okay. So uh, <coughs> remember, enable content, right? And from the previous exercise, what we've done is we've actually in, we've actually imported all of this data here. So we've got all the client data, we've got our membership data, and the memberships are, are already you know, linked you know, from the spreadsheets to which client and what program. So if I look at programs. We've got uh, the different categories of programs that they've registered for, how much they cost, and so forth. So what I want to do is I want to actually be, um, uh, how do you say, I want to, from the membership here, instead of having to remember three, four, five, six of the program data, I want to be able to actually pick a particular program. We'll do that in a second. And the other thing was for uh, clients. I don't want to keep continually have to type in Vic and so forth, so I'm actually going to create a drop down list box for this for this data entry. So let's just do the easy thing first is close all. Microsoft always complains about it. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my client data and the drop down list box will be in the state in the state uh, field. So I'm going to go to design view, I'm going to pick state. And now, the uh, interesting thing here that you've got to notice is that if I do the data types here, the data type actually gives me this option of lookup wizard. And the lookup wizard will create the drop down list box for me. So I'm just going to click on the wizard. Now, in this case, uh, it's actually a very good, uh, it's just for the course where we show you how to type in uh, a table of data. But uh, in industry, you'll have everything. Like if you're out in, in your own workplace and so forth, you, you'll have everything in tables. You won't be typing in. But this is just for this course, just so you know how to, how, how to do this. On, um, it's a good idea just to know all the different features. So I'm going to type in the list. I'm going to next. And I know my list will be Vic. And I can go tab to the next bit. And I know it's New South Wales, tab, Queensland, tab. Uh, what have we got? ACT, Western Australia. I might miss some of some of them here, but just just in case, the territory, Tas. I think I've got the whole lot. Anyway, whatever. So there is my list. This is what list I want the list to look like. So I'm going to say next, and I'm just going to leave all these things as uh, default and say OK, finish. Right now, what's actually happened? Uh, if I go to view, save. If I actually click on any one of these, now you notice I've got the drop down list box option so I can go and pick instead of having to type. Okay, so what's actually happened in the database? Let's have a look here. And the lookup wizard, remember the wizard, uh, has actually created something really interesting for us. It's in the lookup section and it's created this string for us with all the parameters of how to make this this list what, what what it should look like right so it's populated all of this information for us through the lookup wizard so now if I actually want to just run I can always go to the new record and, and just pick a state rather than having to type it in so that's the first exercise um, if you go back to so the first first portion that's how to create a drop down list box by just typing in a list and what I want to do is actually go a little bit further further on and uh, create a membership lookup. So here is our table. And what we want to do is actually have a, have a link in the membership table so that if I'm entering new data, 
I can click on the program and actually pick a program type. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify the program ID to, to link or look up uh, the primary key within the pro uh, um, we call uh, sorry the program um, table. Right? So we're going to look for and this is the sort of thing that we want to see is the ID plus the category. Right? So let's just switch over and let's just do it. Uh, to save some time. Okay, so I'm going to close this guy here because we've we're finished with it. But I know in membership, I want this field to be a drop down list box, which means I have to go to design view and in design view, the program ID here. Now, one important thing to actually remember is auto number, which is our primary key for any of these um, uh, tables, an auto number type. Um, is, and this is an important thing to catch here, is that it's a long integer type. Okay, a long integer type. So if we want to link um, the program ID to the primary key of, um, of the program table, in other words, we, this, this number will get the ID of the primary key from the uh, program table, we have to make sure that the auto number, which was a long integer, must be the same type as the number for the program ID here. So uh, we need to change this from a double to be a long integer for it to match whatever is in a primary key in the other table. All right. So that was our first uh, point of call. Now we save that and we'll get a complaint saying, oh, we could lose some data, but we, we're, we're okay, because they're just simple numbers. Now, <coughs> we can go into um, the number type here and actually start with a lookup wizard, the same as we did previously, but this time we're going to look up uh, the values in the program table. So I'm going to say yes, and we're going to look up in another table. So we're not going to do the, the simple type stuff in. We're going to look up the value in another table which happens to be the program program table and what we want is we want to double click this guy and the category because we want to see not just uh, <coughs> we want to see the category that matches the ID in our table okay so next and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say category I want that's all I want to see in the list uh, I could pick uh, the, the ID and the category to be shown, but I just want to see the category and I want to see it in ascending order. So I'm actually um, ordering the list as well. So next, and this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so hide hide uh, the key column. Yes, I don't want to see the ID. And I'm going to say next. Yep, yeah, I'm not really worried about all these parameters. Just say finish. And we're going to save everything. Right. Now if I go over to my membership table to see the data, I can see that instead of seeing four, five, six and whatever in here, I actually have the drop down list box now. Okay. So I'm I'm creating a bit of data integrity as well. Um, so efficient for them not to well for, for the person using it, instead of uh, typing in platinum all the time or the digit digit four three two or whatever it is. They can actually just pick off a, off a, um, off a table to complete the exercise. All right, so that's the uh, exercise for drop-down list boxes.